This is the place where Main Street speaks out to Wall Street. The Detroit Roadshow is back in Washington for a command performance. The big three CEOs testified for senators today. They go before the House tomorrow. They have a plan this time, but do they have the votes they need to get the billions? And do they deserve it? I've got Jeff Mackey and Steve Leesman in the House. What's the reaction so far to the big three performance, guys? Uh, obviously, we see Wagner driving up, you know, 500 miles in the Chevy. Ooh. We've got Ooh. all the guys certainly from a... A performance point of view, they're getting it right. How about meat on the bone? Yeah, I, I think the performance actually I would label as pandering. I mean, it, it's guys that make twenty million a year shouldn't spend ten hours driving to D.C. What I'm concerned about is that the solution. Well, he can't win have, either way. He got uh, crap for taking the. I mean, that was you know. You know, carpool. You guys do something, but I mean, th th it seemed like just the worst road trip you've ever been on. Right. I kept picturing an intern in the back who had to go pee for like five hundred right? miles trying to tell the you know <laughs> CEO of the company uh, you want to stop right. at Arby's and getting refused right. anyway. But my problem problem with what they're doing is that they're, they're getting this money by appeasing rather than coming up with solutions. As a Wall Street guy, what concerns me is that they're talking about green cards, they're talking about this, that, the other thing. I want to hear how they're going to make money. That, to me, is the only thing that saves the equity. The equity value of General Motors, Ford, and Chrysler is already gone, but is zero. The stocks are worth nothing until they figure out a plan to make money, and that's not what they're being asked to do. They're being asked to you know, be polite to Congress this time and come I, up I with a plan. I just want to get mainstream before I go to Steve. Jason from South Carolina to speak out yes sir donnie uh i'm a sales manager of a local auto dealership here in south carolina i've seen firsthand the effects of main street last year my dealership had 25 sales people and this year we're down to nine i want to know what, why the financial institutions aren't being criticized like the auto industry and has city ceo pledged to pay himself annual salary of just one dollar all right steve you know this is the big question we, almost why are they treated like the stepchildren, they're the blue collar. Well, why? Why is there seem so much more shackles and so much more chagrin directed at the auto companies coming for money versus the banks coming for money? I think the the, the short answer is that they under they can answer the question Jeff Mackey just asked, asked, which is how are you going to make money? So we can see our way through on the financial services companies if we inject capital into them that that's a business we understand what we do not understand is how the big three with their huge cost structures with this unwieldy dealership network that's protected by these local and state franchise laws all due respect to our caller there donnie but that whole structure doesn't seem to make sense to people they don't paulson i think is interesting to say paul paulson's investor banker he doesn't understand the business. He's like, show me how you're going to make some money here. Show me the viability route, and then tell me how you're going to protect taxpayers' money. We have a system in place on a financial services business to do all that, and we can sort of see the end of this process. We don't see it in the auto business. All right, I want to bring no. in Congresswoman Maxine Waters, Democrat from California. Congresswoman, what's the latest on the performance of the big three? Where are you guys at? Well, the latest, of course, is what you've been alluding to. Uh, they're here today. They drove in. Uh, they come in under the shadow of the criticism that they received when they was last here uh, because they came on their private jet. So they certainly are uh, taking heed uh, to that criticism. And they came in with their plans. Their plans have been given to uh, all of the committees of uh, jurisdiction. Uh, those plans are being reviewed. There will be more questions. Uh, everybody wants to make sure uh, that we do it and we do it right. I think in the final analysis there's going to be some assistance for these major automobile manufacturers. It is important to our economy. We do have over three million people uh, whose jobs are at stake and so I think everybody's going to work hard. Uh, the automobile manufacturers just got to work hard to make sure we understand how they're going to downsize, how they're going to negotiate with the unions, how they're going to build more uh, fuel efficient cars, how they're going to make money. I think we're all looking for that. Uh, we uh, thought uh, that uh, Mr. Paulson, our secretary, and uh, Mr. Bernanke, our Fed chair, uh, knew something about all of this. We took their recommendations uh, early on, but now we're not relying on anybody's recommendations. We're relying on the information we can dig up, dig out of them, and understand. And so here we are today with still a lot of uh, members of Congress being a bit suspicious, not certain, not confident that they've got it right, but we've got to ask them the questions. And in the final analysis, we're going to make some decisions about whether or not we're going to be of assistance to them. And I think that this Congress wants to make sure that our economy does not go down, that we do yeah. everything that we can to keep it going. Congressman, can I, can I ask you whether or not you're prepared yes. for a viability plan? This is Steve Leisman. Sorry, I should introduce myself. Yes. Um, 
Are yes. you prepared for for an auto industry viability plan that includes uh, laying off perhaps tens of thousands of workers, renegotiating a union contract that calls for less pay for unions, and even in some respects might even shed some of the responsibility for the retirees to the federal government? I'm prepared for a well thought out plan that will do any number of things, including some of those. I would like to reduce the number of people who are laid off the whole idea of this plan. And what we're concerned about is making sure that we protect the American workers to the degree that we can. But it's going to take looking at every aspect of this business. Uh, Congresswoman, it's Jeff Mackey. And, and yes. here's my thing on. on it, they came back two weeks later, they're asking for $9 billion more, and they're talking about green cars, this and that. My solution that, that I would offer up to you is that we not invest in them in this sort of half-hearted way, but rather it, what you're talking about it really is, can only be done by buying them out completely. Otherwise, the choices that Steve Leisman just listed are exactly what's going to happen. We're going to have to close dealerships. We're going to have to fire people. We're going to have to do things that you can really only do under, under right. the auspices we gotta, of bankruptcy. We've got we to wrap this up. Congressman Warriors, always appreciate your time. You're my favorite feisty well, you're congresswoman. Welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>